Let's look at graphing a tangent curve. We'll start by looking at the formula. y equals a times the tangent of bx plus c, and then plus d on the outside. a is going to come back later when we start to graph. And we'll first look at our period, which is pi over b, b being the number in front of x. Our phase shift is negative c over b, the opposite of this inside number divided by b. Our vertical shift is d, if there's a number on the outside. And then for all of my tangent curves, I like to write this little interval. Negative pi over 2 is less than or equal to bx, less than or equal to pi over 2. This will help me find my asymptotes. Let's look at y equals tangent of x. Our period, again, is pi over b. b being the number in front of x. Since there is no number, it's understood to be 1, so our period is just pi. There is no phase shift and there is no vertical shift for this problem. Start writing out my asymptotes. Negative pi over 2 is less than or equal to bx. Remember, b was 1. Less than or equal to pi over 2. So this right here will tell me my asymptotes. Then I'll write my asymptote equation. And to do that, I'll take my first part of my interval, plus or minus k times the period, where k is an integer. I'll draw my asymptotes on my graph. We have one here again at negative pi over 2. We have another at pi over 2. We're going to have one at 3 pi over 2, at 5 pi over 2. Every time we add or subtract the period, we get another asymptote. But we're only going to draw one period of my graph. For the tangent curve, we cross in the middle of these asymptotes. And halfway between the asymptote and the center, on the right-hand side, we're going to go up 1 because my number in front of the tangent is a 1. And halfway on the left-hand side, we're going to go down 1, connect the points, and there we have a nice tangent curve. So going a little bit harder here, y equals 2 tangent of 3x plus pi. My period is pi over 3. And my phase shift is negative pi over 3. Remember, opposite of this inside, divided by 3. There is no vertical shift. And then I'm going to start to write my asymptotes. I'll start with my interval. Negative pi over 2 is less than or equal to 3x, less than or equal to pi over 2. To get rid of that 3, I'm going to divide everything by 3, or I'm going to multiply by 1 third. So I'm going to get negative pi over 6, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to pi over 6. Still got one more thing to do. I've got to take into account that phase shift. So I'm going to add that phase shift to both of them. A negative pi over 6 plus a negative pi over 3 is negative pi over 2. And pi over 6 plus a negative pi over 3 is negative pi over 6. So this will tell me my first two asymptotes. From here, I'll write my asymptote equation. Again, I'll take my first part of my interval, plus or minus k times the period, where k is an integer. I'll draw my asymptotes on my graph. The tangent curve, again, will cross in the middle of these asymptotes. And halfway between on the right-hand side, it's going to go up 2, because my number in front is 2. And halfway between on the left-hand side, we're going to go down 2. I'll connect them, and there's my tangent curve. Let's look at one more example here. y equals 1 half, negative 1 half, the tangent of x over 2 minus pi over 2 and then plus 1 on the outside. Now this graph here has a negative in front of the curve, which means it's going to be opposite on my left-hand side will go up, and on the right-hand side will go down. We'll see that when we start to graph. All right, my period again is pi over b. b in this case is 1 half, so that's how we get 2 pi. And our phase shift is opposite of this inside, so pi over 2 divided by 1 half, which is just pi. We do have a vertical shift on the outside here. We have a positive 1. And then I'll start to write my asymptote equations. I'll start with the interval. Negative pi over 2 is less than or equal to x over 2, less than or equal to pi over 2. Got to get rid of that 2 on the bottom, so I'll multiply everything by 2. Got to take into account the phase shift, so I'm going to add the phase shift to every number. And this gives me my first two asymptotes, 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2 pi. I'll write my asymptote equation. Again, I'll take the first part, which is 0, plus or minus 
k times the period, where k is an integer. I'll right, we'll put down my asymptotes. We have one here at 0, and then we have another one here at 2 pi. Again, I told you in the beginning that this problem was negative. We're still going to cross in the middle. And remember, we have a vertical shift, so we're crossing up 1. And now, since it's a negative, on the right-hand side, we go down 1 half. Again, 1 half, because this is our number on the outside. Down, because it's negative. And on the left-hand side, we're going to go up 1 half. I'll connect these points, and there's my tangent curve.